What if that phone also had an encrypted signal so no one could listen in to your calls, no one could read your text other than the person that you send them to? That kind of phone uh, exists. It usually is in the military, and members of the Senate use it for encrypted, secure calls. But you don't have to imagine having one, because what I'm describing is a sat phone, a satellite phone. You know, I'm always telling you how to be prepared for any emergency situation. Well, if we're in a situation where the cell phone service is down, you remember the Lahaina fires in Hawaii last year? Cell service was down. The guy who's running the Marriott Maui Ocean Club used a satellite phone and ended up helping 14,000 people. Satellite phone stores have got you covered with plans starting as low as $95.99 or they have discounted family share plans with up to three satellite phones. Go to sat123.com today, sat123.com or call 855-980-5830. That's 855 855- 980-5830 sat123.com so let me let me go back to the interview um he the putin was telling you weaving a story that our president isn't really in control wasn't he yeah. and did you of course have you done anything and reached out to try to verify any of this that it was true i mean do you believe him that the president's not really in control. Well, yeah. Obviously, they mean, obviously yeah. the policies don't change. Well, I, mean, I will we tell you, I will. I, when I heard him say that to you, no. I thought of something that George Bush told me in the Oval Office. I was asking about the policies and how they were going to change. And he said, Glenn, and then he tried to make me feel good by saying this. Glenn, don't worry. Whoever sits behind this desk in that chair is going to have the same advice given by the same advisors, and they'll realize the president's hands are tied. I walked out of that room horrified. Horrified. Uh-huh. Then why do we even have elections? Yeah, I, I, I of course, I, I couldn't agree more. And, I mean, look, they haven't released the JFK files right. over 60 years later. I know. Okay, no president. It's just one. We have over a billion classified documents. So it's not a it's not a democracy in the sense that they told us it was. And I think it can be fixed. I think the president's primary power is his communication with the public. And I continue to think that any president who decided to go right to social media, like direct feed. Here's what I know. Here's what's going on. He could harness the power of the population. Um, and he could make a change. I mean, look, it's the U S the federal government's the largest organization in human history. You can't probably not going to change it in four years, but you could make this country more democratic. And you know, what you could certainly do is change the conversation away from where they want it, which is getting black people and white people to hate each other. Okay. Race hate is a manufactured phenomenon in this country for the most part. Yeah. And it's actually provable. It happened during Occupy Wall Street in 2012. The mentions of white supremacy and racism in the New York Times went up hundreds of fold. So this is an intentional strategy to get people to hate each other on the basis of race. And as I walk around this country, I'm really surprised by how little race hatred there is. It actually oh, yeah, hasn't yeah. worked very well. Most yeah. Americans don't want to do that. And they don't want to talk about foreign policy and the economy, which are the core functions of state. 